I have been called confrontational and I tendered an apology. I wrote a letter to the Lagos State Government apologizing and I even proposed my own plan, my payment plan, but yet you have denied it. At this point, I am being witch hunted and I don't find it funny. So when celebrities don't come out to defend any cause, you guys should not blame them. It is because it comes with a consequence and I am facing that. All these are the words of Iyabo Ujo. After saying that the Lagos state government have slammed her with an 18 million naira personal tax debt and she's saying she's tired of it. If you recall guys, back in June, May, June of 2023, Iyabo Ujo came on social media to laugh at the Lagos, not necessarily laugh, but to call out the Lagos state government and the governor of Lagos state, Babajide Sonwolu, saying how do they come up with outrageous personal income taxes that they send on a daily basis, even after she pays for different type of taxes for her businesses, her houses, and all of those things. She said that they are giving us seven days to pay up. But apparently, you know, since then, the days have moved up. They've gone back and forth concerning it. But now she's saying they've given her a month to pay up 18 million naira. According to Yabo Ujo, when they came for her that time, she was like, okay, at this point, people have not done anything for me as a government. I have single-handedly raised my kids and so many others. And I have over 30 people depending on me. And she says she's worked tirelessly to survive in this country without the support of the government, yet they sit in their office and they come up with different outrageous bills where nothing is working in this country. She said, since you guys insist though, and you can co gladly come and close down my business, arrest me, jail me or kill me, I don't care. We all will die one day and I would never be afraid of what will eventually be everyone's faith. What I do not have, I cannot give. I have no fear. That was back in June. Now, Yaba Ojo is giving us a feedback on that and she's letting us know how it is going. She's saying it is eating deep into her soul and she is tired. That she has even succumbed. She had, you know, she's gone with her, um, her tails between her legs. She's gone there to write apology letter because she knows that, okay, all of this is because she spoke out against the government. And, you know, during the March 23 election, 2023 election, she very vocally uh, and physically supported the Lagos, uh, the Labour Party candidate, both in the presidential election and, of course, in the governorship election in Lagos State. So when this new government came into power, it's like a vendetta against her and they are trying to have her cough up so much money that they know she cannot afford. So she is saying this. Eyabo Ojo has now come out to say, please guys, I need you to help. I don't know what you want me to do at this point. There's no way I'm going to give you 18 million naira in a month. Like, how, since 2020, since COVID happened, businesses have been going up and down. I have mortgage loans I'm paying. I have, you know, personal, personal loans I'm still paying. You know, I have income taxes i'm still paying i have loan taxes i'm still trying to feed and you know and just and just pay up and now you've come with this on me and for me just a single lady i don't know what else you want me to do this is a Ojo crying out and publicly calling out Lagos state government but this time in a more mellow tone this is what Yabo Ojo said in her own word. And I want you to be the judge of this because some Nigerians are saying, indeed, it is looking like there is something about this. Because why are you not going after every other person? Are you saying every other celebrity we have in Lagos State in Nigeria have been up to date with their taxes? Yabo Ojo even said she has coughed up and she has, you know, paid up up until from 2014 to 2019. She has paid up. They are now saying she says, they are saying she must pay up the remaining of almost 18, naira, 18 million naira for 2020 up until 2022 before the end of November or they will take her to court, which is what the problem is currently. So they are saying, are you saying every other Nigerian have been remitting their taxes? This is not tax fraud. It's not like maybe you get, it's not like she was trying to, she, she didn't try to change papers or not. She even said that she went there with her tax consultant so they can figure out a way to, you know, pay up this money. So Yabo Ojo is saying, I am too outspoken, too confrontational, too blunt, they say. My opinion must not be heard unless it aligns with theirs. I must stay silent or get crippled. The witch aunt is eating deep into my soul but damn the hate screamed louder 
I fought for a girl child who was sexually molested and was labelled bad and evil because one of my own, a Yoruba senior colleague, was the accused. Again, I chose to follow my heart and support LP and the hate and resentment even grew worse and I was labelled an Omwale Yoruba. And now, I must pay a compulsory best of judgment based on my celebrity status by the LIRS, Lagos, Inter Lagos State Internal Revenue Service, of over 18 million Naira personal income tax. So now I have paid from 2014 to 2019, but I must pay the remaining of almost 18 million Naira for 2020 to 2022 before the end of November or go to court. Every effort on my part to reduce it was rejected. Even when I had to forcefully accept it, my payment plan has also been rejected. I even had to write an apology letter, yet they refused to give me an easy payment plan. Now tell me if this is not witch hunting and I am supposed to stay silent. Since 2020, which was the COVID-19 lockdown season, who really made money? Tell me. If I had made so much, I wouldn't have bought my house on mortgage. Since 2020, my business has been going through ups and downs, yet I still constantly pay all my business tax, mortgage tax, loan tax, etc. I am the breadwinner. Over 30 people depending on me. Dollar rising almost every day. Fuel high, diesel high, everything expensive. But still, I was given three months to pay over 18 million naira. How? The money will pay. The bills are so overwhelming, even to save is a problem. What kind of business will you people have me do to make a profit of 18 million to pay you this period? Why is my payment plan being denied? Why? Guys, please don't blame celebrities who choose not to speak up or lend their voice. Doing so comes with a lot of consequences. Yes, guys, these are the words of Nigerian celebrity Iyabojo saying that at this point, she feels like this is just them trying to cripple her intentionally. And I'd like to care what you guys think about this. When that happened the other time, when she first came out then to say the Lagos State Government has slammed down with a very high amount of money for her to pay, she, the Lagos State Government didn't say nothing. Now that she's also saying this, the Lagos State Government, I'm not sure they are going to respond, but I want to trust that she's going to come up, you know, um, she's going to give us an update concerning it. And if she does, and when she eventually does, I'll definitely let you know, um, I'll come back and let you know, um, how it plays out because we didn't even know that she was already i mean she has her own thing she's dealing with and yet she's still going about you know trying to you know um seek justice for some other persons so nigerians are now saying it's time for us to also rally around Eya Bojo. we are always happy and glad that she's one of the celebrities who regardless of what is happening still comes out with her full chest boldly say what she thinks is right so they are saying it's time for nigerians to actually you know rally around her and say justice for Eya Bojo. the lagos state government is trying to swindle her is trying to do whatever um it is against her now it's time for us to say we stand by our own just as she has stood by us also as you know nigerians giving a position of influence in the society i would like to hear from you guys in the comment section let me know what you think concerning that um yeah guys that's it thank you so much though for watching this video i'm going to see you in the next one let's keep the comments you know very respectful let me know what you think do you think gabo is doing so much by bringing it here she should have just tried to keep on you know you know settling it or whatever but she's saying that they've refused every attempt of us to make this thing go away at least quietly so i would like to hear from you in the comment section thank you for watching this video bye guys